Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today as you can already can see on your screen we will create this building from Kangakuma. So I already did uh, some uh, basic shapes of this building you can see it's already in Revit so this is not fake this is not picture this is already done in Revit. So but uh, it will be easy to create only in Revit so uh, we will use one more program from Autodesk this is totally free so you can use it you can uh, sign like like a student version you can sign just a basic version so we will use for that uh, fusion so uh, I will open up the fusion and we will start from the fusion so I will create the shape on the fusion and after that we will import this shape to the Revit so let's get start so here we are uh, first I will switch off the internet because sometimes with the internet it's working really slowly Anyway, uh, let's go now to the um, what we need. We need sculpt mode, modify, and we need the planner. Ways create. Let's find the planner. So here, plane. And I said plane. So I need this axis. And let's draw our plane. So it will be here. Uh, let's see. This is uh, 200 millimeters. No, we need 5 meter by 5 meter. So it will be like this, 5 meter by 5 meter. So it's more than enough. Uh, now I will change this uh, uh, segments to the 4. I think 4 will be enough. Let's have a look. Yes, I think so. Let's go to the edit form. Just uh, click on this dot. Uh, oh, sorry. First we need soft. And after that I will go here. Modify mode and let's let's choose the oh sorry selection mode and let's choose the dots. So actually I want choose what I want. So these dots and make sure your object snap uh, selection option everything okay and let's go here let's go this axis and now just do like that okay awesome now here we will do the same thing just extrude it i want more so let's do it like this and now here under soft mode we can change the type of the extrusion so i will change to this type extrusion okay so let's say this is a uh, form what we want actually you can do whatever you want you can uh, for example add some details here or you can make one more in this side so this is only up to you just play around and see what uh, what you need so actually even this mode you have like um making more smooth if you want so let's make it a bit smooth let's say like this and now how to import so first you need finish your form uh, when you will finish your form just double click on that uh, you need export your form just export uh, let's say this is test uh, we need the uh, we need export like sat file and let's let's save it and now all the work we will work in uh, Revit so let's go back to the Revit now we will go to the file new uh, conceptual mess and metric mess let's open up now we will use the uh, some dynamo plugin you will find below this video or you can use uh, insert insert AutoCAD. Uh, I mean the cat file so if you will go here you will find here sat file and you can uh, import like that but we will use dynamo things so let's go to the manage dynamo just a second more than few seconds <laughs> so here we are let's write 360 and uh, you will find uh, sat file but if you not uh, you will uh, you will browse uh, this um, notes uh, what you will find below this video so let's do it 
Um, first, I need I need this one. So uh, in this site, you should so show where is your SAT file. So SAT file, this is what we export from the 360, from the Fusion 360. Uh, let's go find this uh, this file. So this is here, test one. Uh, so fresh start, uh, family number, scale, it's 1000 because we did it in meter. Family category mass and browse the uh, your mass. This is this one. Conceptual mess. You will find it's uh, uh, like a standard one. So as you can see after desk, Revit 2019, family templates, English conceptual mess. So you just need to show this uh, template. Say OK and say OK. Just few seconds and you will get your mess here inside your project. So here is our mess. As I said, you can export, import so what, how you want. You can export like uh, just using the inputs. So you can import from the Rhino. You can create it in uh, even in Revit if you want the shape. It's only up to you. The main thing how we will use uh, this shape. So uh, when we will get the shape, uh, I will straight away will divide it by, mm, let's say I'll select and I want divide it by surface. So here is my uh, shape. I will uh, hide uh, my, 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 my space, my <laughs> mess model, I mean. Uh, let's change this one to 15 and number of this space to 15. So we will get network like this. And before we will continue work with this shape, uh, I need to create the new document. Let's create the new family, uh, mass adaptive ma uh, model here. And now we need to create the points like 14, 15, 16 points. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we did it, uh, 16 points here, and let's make it adaptive, so yeah, 16. Uh, after that, we will go to the reference, so we will go to the spline, and let's connect them. Like, let's say OK, and let's continue. Okay, 16 points, we did it. Uh, so after that, we need to create our shape of uh, future uh, future slabs. So what we're gonna do? Let's go to the model, let's go to the set and set this work plane uh, from our line, from our, our spline, I mean. So let's set this works, uh, work plane. Uh, let's go to the rectangular and let's make this thing like this. So it doesn't matter how we doing, uh, how we did this right now. So let's use di dimension for that one and di for that one. And after that we need to the middle point and we need from to the middle point to here. Let's change uh, the scale to the 1 to 5 and here I will do equal. So I did something wrong. Let's check it out. Let's use the dimension and to the to the center of the line. Okay, so now everything should be be okay. No, let's check it one more time. So it's sometimes it's not so useful to create something here. Okay, here everything okay. It looks like okay. This one I will delete and first I will create like this and after that overall so sometimes it's happen let's make uh, the here dimension like w and let's do it again so it's working now as you see so it sometimes it's happen uh, let's make the new parameter like l and let's make instance 2 and let's make this one equal and now everything okay. So um, this is pretty it. So let's choose uh, that shape and our spline and let's create the form. Don't forget, you should make one, uh, one piece of this uh, model uh, log profile. Don't forget about it. So uh, 
and load the, uh, let's load up uh, inside our family so here we are and what we're gonna do now uh, let's choose our family i mean the our mess and here small button and let's make it node let's go back to the create component and before we will work with the component as as you already can see it's too much i mean too big let's make it 150 by 50. so now i think it should be be okay so yes i'm right so and let's continue work with this all nodes just click one by one and on and on like this no worries sometimes so revit working a bit slowly but he doing everything what you doing with this form and last one we did it so here is our shape as you can see it's not right so we can change it uh, actually here 150 and here it's 50 so now we did right so let's select them and repeat just wait like a few seconds we did it so here is our shape uh, let's go back to the create and component sorry create and component and let's make for the, the other side I will do like this one just make sure you're placing your uh, model exactly to the point just like this don't be rush And one more here okay did it and let's change again here to the 50 here to the 150 okay and let's do repeat again so here is our shape done so what we're gonna do now pretty easy just lo let's load it inside to the project yes if you want material you should create material if you want something else you should create inside uh, inside the model but anyway I just showing you how to create the shape so let's go to the uh, this mod I will change to the shaded one and let's go to the messing let's go to the roof and let's create the roof let's say I want like uh, 200 okay why not and here is my shape of uh, of my messing as you can see this is not right uh, let's change my uh, my roof to the 150 let's say and i will change the thickness also to 150 okay okay and let's make offset like 300 now to 300 too much 250 will be enough even 200 this is exactly what we want so we did it actually so as you can see it's not so hard to create some uh, not standard uh, form in Revit. Just you should know uh, the w one of the way how you can create it. Uh, I think this is pretty it, guys. So if you want to, um, don't forget um, to like this video, share and comment, of course. And uh, if you have some questions or you have some suggestions uh, what we can create, just leave comment below this video and I will try to do it. Uh, as I said, you can use uh, Fusion, you can use uh, Rhino, you can use whatever to create shape. Just after that, you can do it with the mess. So thank Thank you guys and see you next time to support my channel you can go to gumroad check that my store there you can find bottle of this dynamo scripts or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house by this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys and that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.